Hey guys, Jonas here and welcome to Counterside and today in this video, I'm here to present you guys with a guide on dive. Firstly, what is it, right? Well, as it says right over here, dive is an exploration mission on the Counterside. The deeper you dive, the more squads you need and the more formidable your enemies and thus better the rewards, alright? So looking into the basic model of this um, content out here, it kind of reminds me of the tower challenge of various RPG gacha games out there. It's just that like instead of going up you are going down all right that's it and uh, deeper you go better the first clear rewards yes the first clear rewards in this content out here pretty amazing man these are the materials that don't come easy out there all right you are gonna be doing dive for two main materials one is going to be the ship materials that you will be requiring in order to either upgrade your ships or to construct new ships and to farm the imaginary core as well which you can exchange for a lot of amazing ship parts out there in the shop list action center dive section out here yes look at this materials out here all of these materials are pretty rare okay you cannot just get them that easily and you will be able to exchange these kind of amazing rare items for the imaginary core that you are going to farm in the dive section all right so that's gonna be it look at these materials guys you will be requiring all of these materials either to upgrade or construct a new ship you would need a new ship you gotta get all of these materials out here all right so that's it and done now let's get into the dive well i will also teach you now how to get into the dive because i think most of the beginners actually don't know how to get into the dive right so first of all guys go into the lobby screen go into the world map and in the world map go into the bottom right corner and there we go there is the dive all right uh, actually it actually took me some time to find that so i, I am sharing my experience with you all right uh, just for beginners you know like the healthy team anyways right over here guys all you need to do now is to hire your squads you need two squads most of the time in order to clear out the corners out here definitely deeper you go more the squads you will be needing later on anyways for now i'm just required two squad out here and i will be using these two squads in order to clear the content and well unlike any story progression content you will not be able to request for this support from your allies like let's say your friends or you're from your guest out here all right you are on your own and now there are various types of uh, battle features out here all right one's gonna be the point care in this particular content you will be able to get ship material that's why it is really really recommended or very highly recommended for you guys to do the point care type of contents all right because ship material you just cannot farm it anywhere <laughs> you really have to come into the dive and to start farming for the ship material so point care really does uh, serve you a lot of justice if you are going to do it out here in the dive section that's what you are after right anyways uh, the next one is gonna be the gauntlet all right and in the gauntlet the expected spoil is gonna be unit yes if you really want some really good SR unit yes it can also really do drop that SR units from time to time and I've been really happy about that one man and usually it drops the rare and the normal units but sometimes if you're lucky it can give you the SR units as well and next one is gonna be the uh, Raiman and it's gonna give you guys gear molds materials but there are so many other ways to get the gears molds and materials so this is my least favorite out here in the dive all right my most favorite is definitely gonna be the point here because I am in dive section in order to farm for the ship materials so that I can upgrade my ship or to construct new ship out there because uh, constructing a new ship is gonna require me a lot and lot of ship materials and I really do need them and the second best is definitely gonna be the gauntlet all right if you somehow do not manage to engage in the point care battles out there all right so now let's get this started so first of all I'm going to uh, engage in the point care battle out here and you can see right over here the estimated level is 32 all right so now let's go out there and let's fight in here but before fighting you can see that like I have two ships that means uh, two ship means I have got a total of four supplies and usually you are gonna be engaging in a total of four battles all right so use your ships wisely all right for now i'm gonna use the weakest one anyways let's get this started i'm just gonna do one dive session so to show you guys uh, everything in detail out here anyways those are my hero units uh, they are gonna be acting kicking ass the uh, kicking ass of the opponents real hard out there not really that hard guys the dive content is very very easy indeed as long as you have all of your units at level 50 
It's too easy, man. It's really easy, and uh, it's not really that hard at all to just clear out this one. It's out here. Opponents out here. Too weak, man. Too weak. Maybe they are actually gonna get real hard real soon. That may be a different case, but of course, so far, man. Uh, they have not even landed me a single scratch, alright? So I've been really perfectly fine so far, alright? Anyways, let's just clear this content out here. I've got two accounts, and in my another account, I've actually gone way too far than compared to this account out here, alright? So yeah, there we go. Been enjoying the dive content so far, being able to get some amazing resources out there. And thanks to this, uh, I am now going to be able, I'm like, I am now able to get my favorite ship known as Stellar out there. I gotta get it right away and start saving all those ship materials for the future SSR type ships, alright? Anyways, now I'm gonna go to the point here yet again. But hey guys, now there is this another content out here with the red exclamation sign mark. So what it actually means is that like, if you're going to fight in this content out here, it's gonna guarantee you guys an artifact. So what is an artifact? An artifact is a certain type of booster. It provides a buff to your entire allies, like let's say attack boost or maybe attack speed boost, or it actually provides some debuff to your opponent so that your battle is gonna be much easier. And artifact actually keeps on stacking up as well if you keep on getting a lot of them. And in the end, when you are actually going to be able to fight against the main boss out there, then at that time, those artifacts, whatever you have collected so far, will be turned into gold. One artifact equals two. 10,000 credits in this game all right so now let's go and let's fight over here and I just want to show you guys how the artifact really look like in this game all right and if you are pretty much weak definitely the artifacts are, are gonna be a really great help to you guys in clearing out the contents over here it's just gonna make your progression much easier all right if you actually manage to get the artifact all right so let's do it right over here and when usually you are trying whenever you are trying to get the artifact Usually the battle is pretty hard, <laughs> right? That's what it says. But so far, I've been doing good so far, okay? Not really that much of a big deal out here. Pretty easy, guys, pretty easy. All right, so let's just beat them up right away. Too easy, man, all right? Some hounds out there. Let's beat them up. Okay, now let's try to defeat the tower out there. Let's reduce its HP to zero. Okay, so there we go. Now the enemy tower is taking full damage from my units out here. All right, there we go. My tile using the ultimate attack. There we go. Now the tower is supposed to be down real fast. Special attack. Okay, so there we go. Boom. There we go. The tower is down. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a pretty easy win, wasn't it? Okay. I think I actually faced no casualties out there. It's just that like I didn't manage to wrap up the battle within one minute. Okay, so that was the only problem. And by the way, guys, you will definitely be able to get a lot of amazing materials by clearing out those continents. Depending on the continents, you will be getting different type of materials out there. And uh, these are gonna be the artifacts, okay? It says, artifact container discovered. You can only get one of the three. Yes, out of these three, you can only get one, so pick one, all right? What is it gonna be? Allied make uh, attack speed plus 20%. Well, I don't use the make type of unit, so this is gonna be totally useless for me. Next is gonna be the resource cube. Deployment resource gain plus 10%. That is actually really, really juicy. Next is gonna be the defense land disc. Enemy ground units defense minus 10%. I would definitely go with this one out here in the middle, okay? So yeah, it actually goes and stores right over here. And now, let me go and uh, go into this safe zone out here. Yes, I can go over there as well. In the safe zone, usually nothing actually happens. And sometimes there are this Euclid zone where actually you will be able to find some real good stuff out there, including fuel refills, all right? So this time, what I'm actually gonna do is, I'm actually going to change the ship from my this no ammo ship right over here all right because this under control has no more fuels left in it so i gotta switch to another ship my normandy and my another squad out here which is more powerful in order to beat this boss out here and this uh, corruption core or let's say the boss unit of this stage is actually going to give me the imaginary core as well yes which i can exchange in the shop uh, exchange area to get a lot of ship materials in order to upgrade my ship or to construct a new ship right so yeah there we go very good stuff out here let's start the fight out here okay let's do it let's do it let's fight against the boss and we will be clearing this particular stage out here and looks like the opponent is pretty much on the berserker berserker mode all right uh, a mobile opponent okay so let's let's do it oh my god my units are actually taking a lot of damage 
come on I need you my healer where is my healer come on she should be coming up real soon okay anyways let's just keep on beating up the opponents out here let's do it okay so there we go all right my defender is beating the opponent real good and uh, he's actually uh, getting her occupied real good and well look at that uh, I am pretty much beating up the opponent without any problem at all pretty easy man okay so there we go it didn't even take me one minute in order to finish out the battle, okay? So opponent is down, and definitely I will be getting a lot of imaginary core, okay? So there we go, guys. I actually managed to beat the opponent even within one minute. So there we go, guys. 153 imaginary core out here, and I've got some Eternium as well. It's definitely going to be a really good help for the um, events out there later on or possibly any kind of other contents in the uh, operation battles, right? Anyways, now I ha I'm going to be able to redeem the artifact out here. And as I told you guys a little while ago, one artifact equals to 10,000 credits, okay? So, yes, if you actually manage to collect a lot of artifact in this content, definitely you will be able to farm a lot of credits as well. So, yeah, that is pretty good. And look at this. These are the total amount of rewards that I actually managed to receive 10,000 credit 20,000 credit out here and these are the first time rewards I believe 2,000 Eternium and 150 imaginary core yes so there we go let's click on ok and yes we are done with this stage out here and you can see that like I just cannot grind on the stages that I have already cleared okay so I have got no choice but to keep on moving down and down and down and down and down and down all right and seems to be like there are a total of 35 stages so far right now let's see if they are actually gonna add up a lot more contents out there and there are so many amazing materials that you will be able to get in this content like as apt course as well which is going to be a really great help for you guys in a to limit break your characters right and this kind of materials which really do not come easy all right <laughs> so yes you are also going to get that one so yeah those are the things that you need to know about the dive you are going to come into the dive in order to get the first clear rewards in order to get those ship materials and in order to get a lot of imaginary core which you can exchange in the shop in order to get a lot of parts of the ship which you require in order to upgrade your ship or to manufacture a new ship let's manufacture a new ship right now why not maybe i am pretty much capable of doing it right now so what i'm actually gonna do is i am gonna go shit where is it okay let's go into the office out here this is gonna be the quickest uh, shortcut route i'm gonna go into the hangar out here and go into the ship construction all right and what i need is my stellar wow i still don't have enough amount of the ship material see how much you actually require so you are really really advised to do the dive in order to get all of these materials out here or else these are the ships that will always be beyond your reach okay and you are supposed to get them really soon in order to advance your gameplay style anyways that's it and done guys that is it for today what do you guys think about my dive guide uh today if you have any extra stuff or extra opinions that you want to add for this video please do let me know in the comment section below i would really really love to hear that one out and if there is a really good criticism or any kind of feedbacks from you guys let's have a good discussion on that one as well and on top of that one if you do love this video please do hit that like and subscribe button right away i would really appreciate it and that's it and done guys see you guys in the next video